with sports director Bruce Rader. Does this mean Old Dominion still has a shot at the national title? Say that right. shot, we're there! Yeah. 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 She is one of the most legendary figures in the history of women's basketball. Former Old Dominion All-American and Naismith Hall of Famer Ann Donovan died tonight of heart failure. I'm Bruce Rader. Welcome to the Sports Wrap. I met her for the first time in 1979. I got a call from then Lady Monarchs Hall of Fame coach Mary Ann Stanley, who told me to come over to the ODU Fieldhouse so I could meet the high school parade All American from Ridgewood, New Jersey, the most highly recruited high school player in the nation, six foot eight inch Ann Donovan. It was almost as if Anne was embarrassed by all the attention she was getting that day. But later that week, Coach Stanley signed one of the greatest players in women's basketball history. A three-time All-American, Donovan led the Lady Monarchs to a national championship in 1980 and two more trips to the Final Four. She was the tallest player in the nation and took home the Naismith Trophy as the College Player of the Year. Anne is still the Lady Monarchs' all-time leading scorer and rebounder and the best shot player locker in college basketball history. After leaving ODU, Ann became one of the great ambassadors of the sport. A member of the U.S. Olympic gold medal team in 1984, she then spent three decades with USA Basketball, winning three gold medals. A longtime assistant at ODU, she moved on to be head coach at East Carolina, then on to the pros, leading the Carolina Sting to the WNBA Finals and winning the WNBA Championship with the Seattle Storm in 2004. Ann is a member of the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame, the Virginia Sports Hall of Fame, the ODU Sports Hall of Fame, and the Hampton Road Sports Hall of Fame. Ann Donovan was 56 years old.